and we're alive. So today we're unboxing. I probably should wait a minute. Let's see if I should just see first oh, before I even open the damn thing. <laughs> this is me. There we go. I messaged him. <laughs> Hopefully this lag dies out a little. The cosmic brownie. I'm just waiting for him to read it. He may not. He may not. I just threw the box <laughs> for a second there. All right. I don't know what that was. Oh, I just got a new host. Thank you, John John, for hosting me. Thank you, John John, for the host. I was like, what is that? <laughs> Usually it's a follower. I should turn it down. You're welcome. Awesome, awesome. There we go. Okay, so tonight we're going to be unboxing the Ikora? Coria? Ikoria? Ikoria. There we go. We're going to be unboxing the Ikoria um, magic uh, fat box. <laughs> Super cool. How was your Christmas? Christmas was good. Dark Force, hey, how are you? Um, I'm going to let Dylan go ahead and open this, because it's his. He's going to be off camera for right now. He's chilling. My pokey tool. Yes, you can. Glad to hear. How is everybody's Christmas? How is everybody doing? I wasn't going to stream, but Jesse bought him, slash me, because we both play, a magic box for Christmas, so I knew that I had to. Um, John John says hi. What's going on, John John? You said, what's going on? I'm sorry you had a sad Christmas dark force. What happened? Do you want to talk about it? Can I just show them what you immediately pulled out? So we've got this super cool box with the boosters inside and lands and such. Oh, and it came with this. Super cool. Spin down. Yeah, it's a spin down. Hi, Raging Rabbit. I could not get anything from the kids. Oh, you have kids? Merry Christmas, Raging Rabbits. How was your Christmas? And then we have this. That's super cool. I should probably show them that. That's the 20. Mm -hmm. This is what the 20... Wait. It's right there. This right here is what the 20 looks like on the spin down. Between 16 and 13. Super cool. Dylan's going to open the packs and show me. Actually, I'll just show you the cards because there's not a whole lot of them. Like, it's not like the other one. On the inside, there's art. You guys can't really see it. This one's just basic lines, but some of the I'll show them, yeah. Um, do you want to hand me that? Just because some of them like these. A little bit of art. And then mutating your creatures. Pretty sure it's explaining how that works. Four kids. Okay, that's what I thought you meant. No necessary. No necessary. You mean niece and nephews. So I'm going to quickly show you some of these lands. They're just basic lands. 
You guys can't see them super well. If you want, I can grab a lamp so that it's brighter. They're just basic lands. The creature cards I'm going to read to you guys. I'm going to probably struggle to say the names. I actually might grab the lamp for the creatures. I already heard you giggling over there over a card. <laughs> yeah, these are all foil basic lands, and this is the card I was giggling about. It's seven drop enchantment aura. You enchant a creature. When this hits the field, you tap the creature you're enchanting, but the enchanted creature gets plus 20 plus 20. Wow. Right. Absolutely crazy. Let me just throw this on a 1-1 one, one real quick. Okay, so this should help with the cards. <laughs> with the lighting for the cards. And now you guys can see me better. Joy. I um, hope you guys pull a Godzilla. He has Mecha Godzilla and Mothra. Hey, Jesse, how are you? How was your Christmas? These are foil lands, you said? Yeah. Okay, so these are foil lands. Maybe I can kind of... Super pretty, shiny. I always like the black mana that are foil. They look so nice. Wow, that sounds like a mouthful to say. <laughs> yeah. Just a bit. So many foil lands. Do they normally always come with this money? Not that I remember. I'm yeah. I like foil bases. Same here. I never remembered there being this money in a fat pack. Oh, this one's really nice. I like that one. This one. John John already requested me to hydrate. Good thing I grabbed my gigantic cup. <laughs> this is what I look like when I'm not streaming. <laughs> Normally. This is a three drop four or five nightmare with menace. So three drop four or five and menace. But when it hits the field, an opponent gets to put a death touch counter on a creature they control. So they get to give a creature they control death touch, but you get a 4-5 with menace for 3 mana. Nice. That's pretty gross. I got your bag, girl. Thank you. Okay, so this is the other stack. You already went through these, right? Okay. So we've got Evolving Wilds. Sack Evolving Wilds to search for basically on card. Your typical Evolving Wilds. Let me see if I can... Oh, there we go. That's a pretty good angle. And then we've got... Faucet Reader. Creature, human, wizard. Pay a colorless and tap it to draw a card, then discard a card. It's a 1-2. <clears throat> I'm trying to get a good angle. Oh, there we go. That is unkindly a unlikely aid instant. Target creature gets plus two plus zero and gains indestructible until end of turn. Nice. Blazing Volley. Blazing Volley deals one damage to each creature your opponent controls. Nice. Whoa, I just realized that one's different on the back. We got a mythic and I love it. You got a mythic? 
No, Pavel. Nic som tam nedostal. So this is Blade Vanish Instant Exile Target Creature Power 4 or Greater. This one's pretty neat. Pacifism. Enchantment Aura. Enchanted Creature. Enchanted Creature cannot attack or block. Oh. Jellyfish. Oh, we have some leg. There we go. Jellyfish. God, I hate census. Uh... Sinuses. Census. <laughs> I was going to say, I hate the census too, but that's really random. <laughs> uh, Glimmer Bell. Creature. Elemental jellyfish. Flying. One colorless, one blue. Untap it. It's a 1 3. Migratory Great Horn. Creature Beast. Mutate for two colorless and a green. If you cast it for its mutate cost, put it under, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, whenever this creature mutates, search your library for basic land card, put it onto the battlefield tab, and then shuffle your library. I'm working on it. I'm slower than you. Uh, Drenius Healer. Drenius Healer. Creature human cleric, whenever you cycle another card, you gain one life. Cycling is, uh, to cycle is one colorless. Discard this card and draw a card. It's a 2-2. Two -two. Polywog, symbiote, creature frog. Each creature spell you cost cast one colorless less to cast if it has mutate whenever you cast a creature spell if it has mutate draw a card and then discard a card it's a 1-3 frog boneyard lurker creature nightmare beast mutate is two colorless a black and a green whenever this creature mutates return target permanent card from your graveyard to your hand it's a four four this one looks super cool it looks like some sort of demon honestly this one mm. valiant rescuer Vi valiant violent valiant <laughs> Uh, creature human soldier whenever you cycle another card for the first time each turn create a one one white human s soldier creature token cycling is two colorless discard a card and then draw a card three one oh nice this sorcery is like so much mana and it's very specific can you see this? Mm -hmm. I love it. It's one of my favorites. You like this one? Mm -hmm. Genesis Ultimatum. Sorcery. Look at the top five cards of your library. Put any number of permanent cards from among them onto the battlefield. The rest into your hand. Exile. Genesis Ultimatum. Oh, that's crazy. So it's either five draws or like, you know what I mean? All the permanents go on the field. The rest go in your hand. Yeah. It's disgusting. It is. Bastion of Remembrance Enchantment. Whenever Bastion of Remembrance enters the battlefield, create a 1-1 one, one white human soldier creature token. Whenever a creature you control dies, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. This is a shiny. Oh, sorry. See, it's super shiny. And then land. Oh, and a token. I dropped the token. Or the land. It's a dual land. It's a white and a blue. Tell your husband to look at his damn phone, said uh, Titch. Uh. We're not married. Human soldier token. This is the human soldier token. You 
Okay, what piles have I not looked at? You have like eight piles over here. All of them, except for the I did the land. The land. Okay. Oh my god. I told him to look at his phone, but we're kind of doing something. <laughs> okay. Frostival? Ambush? Frostful? Frostvale? Frostvale? Frostvale. Vale? Frostvale ambush. Mm -hmm. Instant tap to target tap to target creatures. Those creatures don't untap during their controller's next untap phase. Untap step. Cycling is one colorless. I need a pile. Suffocating fumes. Instant creature your opponent's control get neg one, neg one until end of turn cycle. Ferocious Tigerella Creature Cat Ape Oh, we could use this one in mine. I'm missing three cards, by the way, somehow. I don't know. Green or white? Oh, no. No, no, we couldn't. Um, enters the battlefield with your choice of a trample counter or menace counter on it. It's a 4-3. Two two with menace. Each creature you control with menace can't be blocked except by three or more creatures instead of just two. Dang. Bristling boar, creature boar can't be blocked by more than one creature. It's a four three. And that's hilarious, Jesse. <laughs> he said suffocating fumes like my kittens at night. <laughs> His have farting. It's awful apparently um convolute instant counter target spell unless it's controller pays four durable coil bug creature insect four colorless and a black to return it from your graveyard to your hand it's a two two Imposing Vandasaur, Creature Dinosaur, Vigilance, Cycling, One Colorless, 3-6. I kind of like the name of that one, Vantasaur. Legendary Dinosaur Cat Nightmare. <laughs> it's a 3-5 with Mutate and Double Strike. And whenever it mutates, it deals four damage to a creature or a planeswalker and opponent controls, and you gain four life. Neat. Yeah. It's a four drop. That's disgusting. Oh. That's super. It's be a bob and wild. Oh. It's like the cheapest card in the game, but I have it in every deck because it's useful. I like four. And you have, yeah. <laughs> Blood curdle? Instant destroy target creature. Put a menace counter on a creature you control. Looks like a werewolf. Or just a wolf. No, it looks like a werewolf with like 80 eyes. Like spider eyes. Uh, honey mammoth. Creature elephant. When honey mammoth enters the battlefield, you gain four life. Six, six. Manned serval. Creature cat. Vigilance. One, four. That one's really dark. Let me try to get it closer. There you go. It's a white, but the art for it's so dark. Oh, Elliot. This one made me immediately think of Elliot. It's a shark. <laughs> uh, pouncing shore shark. It's a land shark. <laughs> Um, creature Shark Beast. Mutate for three colorless and a blue. Flash. Whenever this creature mutates, you may return target creature and opponent controls to its owner's hand for three. This one made me think of his son, Elliot, because he loves sharks. So how's everybody's Christmas going? 
I'm sorry you couldn't get gifts for your kids, Dark. Um, Ketra Crystal Artifacts. Tap to add a green, blue, or red. Cycle for two. It's pretty neat. Blue, green, or red. It's not bad. Are you answering, Titch? You probably should if you're on your phone. Oh, I already did. Oh. <laughs> oh, I like the art for this one. Footfall Crater. Enchantment Aura, Enchanted Land. Enchanted Land has tap, target, creature gains, trample, and haste until end of turn, cycling one. I like the art for that one. It's pretty nice. I'll need to re-up on some Christmas cookies. <laughs> Good idea. Oh, the art for this one's cool, too. Litri, the spell chase, the spell chaser. Legendary creature elemental otter. Oh, that's neat. Companion. Each non-land card in your starting deck has different a different name. Flash. When and when it enters the battlefield, if you cast it, copy target, instant or sorcery spell you control. You may choose new targets for the copy. I don't know if I should say something. About what? The cookies? Do you need cookies too? This is the otter. I think it looks super cool. It's like electric. It's blue and red. Oh, there's land in here too. And then another human creature token. What are these? Oh, they're, you know how it's like a new thing to have like menace counters, lifelink counters. That's what those are. Oh. They just kind of come in random booster packs. They're not worth anything, but you can use them. They're helpful. Okay, I gotta go through all these. Do you want to maybe go through them with me? <laughs> yeah, do you just want me to pull out like the neat ones? Some of them are repeats anyways. A lot of them, most of the condoms and stuff. Yeah, pull out the neat ones. I'll go through the stack while you do that. You should push. Is it because I look like bleh? It's because I literally just got out of the shower. And I wasn't planning on streaming, but I streamed for Jesse's sake and Dylan really wanted to see his cards. Uh, ferocious Great Shark. This one also reminds me of all, <laughs> all the shark ones. I've never seen any shark ones. Are they like super common? Um, they're kind of new in Ikoria. There's like even a Sharknado. Sharknado? Pretty much. It's not really called Sharknado, but yeah, it's pretty much Sharknado. Hmm. Anyways, um, Creature Shark, Flash, when Ferocious. Uh, yeah, Ferocious Great Shark enters the battlefield, counter target artifact or creature spell 5 4. The artwork is super sick. It looks like. Straight out of a shark horror movie. Honestly. And then we have a dual land. Red or white. Gust of Wind Sorcery. The spell costs two less to cast if you control a creature with flying. Return target non-land permanent. You don't control to its owner's hand. Draw a card. I wish the camera would like focus better, but that's okay. I kind of read them anyways. You'd always look them up. Mm. Suffocating fumes. Oh, this is the one that you were talking about, right? <clears throat> Which one? Suffocating fumes. Maybe. I don't think I said anything about it. Oh, well, Jesse brought it up. How did he know that we had it when I hadn't read it yet? No, I didn't grab this file before. I don't know, I'm losing my mind. Instant. Creatures your opponent's control get... Oh, no, maybe I did read this. Oh, it's a repeat. Did you already read this one? Yes. Yes, I did. Drenius Stinger... Stinger? Stinger? 
I don't know. Creature, human, wizard. Whenever you cycle another card, it deals one damage to each opponent. I feel like this is a repeat too. It's a 2-2. Two, two. Uh, Aegis? Turtle. Creature, turtle. Zero, five. Oh, that's kind of neat. He'd be like a really good blocker. Whisper Squad, Creature, Human, Soldier, one colorless and a black to search your library for a card named Whisper Squad. Put it into the battlefield tapped and then shuffle your library. It's a 1-1 one, one for one black. Oh, this one's goofy looking. Prickly, Marmoset, Creature, Monkey, First Strike. Whenever you cycle a card... Prickly Marmoset gets plus two, plus zero until end of turn. It's a two, three. Uh, Vulpiki? What the? Vulpiki? Vulpiki. Yeah. Okay, Vulpiki. It looks like a fox mixed with a bird. Dragon? Bird. I don't know. Creature, fox, bird. Mutate for two colorless and a white. Flying. Whenever this creature mutates, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Two, three. Humble... Naturalist? Hold on. Add one mana of any color, spend this mana only to cast a creature spell. One minute, I'm gonna mute the mic. All right, we're good. Sorry. If we wanted to read it. Fantastic one. Hey, how are you? Um, what was I on? I was on this one. Pacifism. We already read this one and this one. Uh, a ivy elemental creature elemental ivy elemental enters the battlefield with x one one counters on it is a zero zero i'm doing well merry christmas to you too how are you are you replying oh i was like Uh, Saronis, Howl Bounder, Creature, Human, Wizard, Menace. Each creature you control with Menace can't be blocked except by three or more creatures you were talking about this one. Gross, two, right? two. Yeah, that is pretty nasty. Three, Thank you, Spartan. I, um, I messaged you back. I don't know if you read it or not. I feel like I should privately talk to him about it. 
Uh, flame spell. Instant. Flame spell deals four damage to target creature. Excess damage is dealt to that creature's control instead. I had something very similar to this a long time ago. It was something like... Um, Lava axe. No, it was like a cauldron. Hmm. A lava cauldron or some something like that. And then we have another human soldier token. Honestly, it was kind of kind to say something. And that was... Is that the pile that I should read? Mm -hmm. Okay. There are more, but these are the ones that Dylan think are the best. Oh, he said something nice. <laughs> no worries. I appreciate it. I'm going to read the comment really quick. I'm doing good. Watching the Cosby Show on Amazon Prime. I also played NHL 2K7 on my Xbox. Fun. I can say that my knee is not quite ready yet to handle a stream. There won't be a stream tomorrow or Sunday. I have been taking a little break from streaming as well because it's Christmas time and I haven't had time to breathe. I need to just breathe. <laughs> but anyways, Skycat Sovereign. Sovereign. Oh, I said it right. Skycat Sovereign, Creature Elemental Cat. Flying Sky Cat, Sky Cat Scott. <laughs> now I can't. Now I can't read it. Um, that creature <laughs> gets plus one, plus one for each other creature. You control with flying. Two colorless, a white and a blue. To so create a one, one white cat bird creature token with flying. It's a one, one. That's not a bad one. What, what color is my cat deck again? Green and white? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I thought. Honestly, like, green and white. They're a pretty good combo. Then we have Jolibiant. Jubilant. Skybonder. Jubilant, Skybonder. Creature, human, wizard, flying. Creatures you control with flying have spells your opponents cast that target. Wait. Yeah, that target, this creature costs two more to cast. It's a 2-2. Two, two. I thought they would go great in my Zerdeck. Honestly, it's, probably. It's, it's all about taxes, making you pay more to do anything. Right, and I would Zer put Zer it. is flying, so. Oh, perfect. You can't, I, you can't I, target I, them unless you pay two more. I mean, you could still target them, but it would cost them more, and then they wouldn't right. have be able to play stuff. Yeah, no, I agree. Uh, we're all wearing of thought. Enchantment. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, draw a card. Wow, pretty cool. Anything that's not a creature, just boom, go card. And it's an enchantment, even, so... Even if it's like Divination, Divination's two and a blue, draw two cards. Because it's a non-creature spell, draw a card. <laughs> Neats. Gross. No, you don't need to apologize, you're good. Evolving Wilds. Dylan lost his shit when he saw this one. <laughs> he has Evolving Wilds, and you said what, it's not expensive? No, it's not. I have it in, like, every single deck that I own, but it's because it's so useful. Well, he uses it in everything, and, um, he got the, uh, the shiny foil for it. Pretty neat. Yeah. It's not worth anything, but it's fantastic. I don't really care if they're worth It's anything. worth it for your right, decks. Right, exactly. I was gonna say, I don't usually build uh, decks off of worth. I build them off of stupid combos <laughs> right snap decks apex the hunt apex yeah the hunt legendary creature dinosaur cat nightmare yeah i remember you saying this one to me mutate for two a black or red and two white double strike whenever this creature mutates it deals four damage to a target creature or planeswalker and opponent controls and then you gain four life it is a three five Still it does. That's so cool. It's like a hell kitty. <laughs> For real. Hey, Sparkle! <laughs> Is Dylan feeling okay? He's super exhausted. Christmas. To say the least. <laughs> You're okay, though, right? Oh, yeah. I'm honestly not even that tired. Oh, okay. You're just me. Yeah. Deleted by a moderator. 
Did you send me a bunch of emotes? I'm sorry. Nightbot doesn't like that. I can actually probably turn that off. How are you? I'm doing well, Sparkle. How is, how is your Christmas? How are you doing? Satch, hey. Hi, Pikachu, Pikachu. How are you guys doing today? Um, Charge of the Forever Beast. Sorcery. An additional cost to cast a spell. Reveal a creature card from your hand. Charge... Charge of the Forever Beast deals damage to that target creature or planeswalker equal to reveal the card's power. Equal to that of the reveal card power card's power. I keep forgetting the S at the end of cards. Trips me up. So you play that and then reveal like a sixteen sixteen from your hand. Deal sixteen damage to whatever you want. Nice. Good for Hydra deck. Well Hydra's are all zero zeros until they're on the field. Oh, so, yeah. No, it wouldn't be good it then. Would, it would be good like, my Celestia deck. Because aside from my tokens, all my creatures are pretty stompy. Right. And I do have a 16-16 indestructible in there. I understand. Hydrate, got you. I did all caps to Sparkle. Hi, Sparkle. <laughs> I'm sorry. Nightbat's kind of picky. Okay, Channeled Force, instant. As an additional cost to cast a spell, discard X cards. Target player draws X cards. Channeled Force deals X damage to up to one target creature or planeswalker. This stream is lagging a little bit. I'm sorry about that. I, I will try to not make it worse. Fix it a little bit. It seems to get a little bit better, maybe? Are you eating candy? Uh, Grim Dancer, Creature Nightmare. Grim Dancer enters the battlefield with your choice of two different counters on it from among Menace, Death Touch, and Lifelink. 3-3. Three, three. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah. And isn't it like a 3-drop as well? Yeah, it's a 3-drop. Three 3-drop three that comes in with either Death Touch, Lifelink, or Menace. And then Death Touch, Lifelink, or Menace. Aw, hello, hi. How's Sparkle? I'm okay, how are you? Oh, this one I saw you put aside earlier. Colossification? Mm -hmm. Enchantment Aura. Enchanted Creature. When Colossification enters the battlefield, tap Enchanted Creature. Enchanted Creature gets plus 20, plus 20. Pretty lit. And he looks insane. Let me see, there we go. A butter. He looks crazy. Haunted Nightmare. Creature Nightmare Menace. When a Haunted Nightmare enters the battlefield, target opponent puts a Death Touch counter on a creature they control. 4 5. That's a good one. Mm hmm. 3 draw, 4 5. And the best part is too is like since it's a three drop, if they don't have a creature, they don't even get anything from it. I don't know how you're in a shirt. Do you wanna maybe turn the heater off? Yeah, it's not That's rare. Just for now. Well, I've been warm since I got out of the shower. I was like, it's too hot. I had that sweater on when I got out of the bathroom and then I was like, nope. Okay. Next is Necro Panther creature. Cat Nightmare mutate to colorless, a white or black, a white or black. Uh, whenever this creature mutates, return target creature card with converted mana cost three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And it's a kitty. Just stayed home. Was it nice though and relaxing? Ooh, this one looks nice. Um, aspetitious? Auspicious. Auspicious? Starinks. Starinks. Auspicious Starinks. Creature Alk Beast. Mutate for five colorless and a green. 
Whenever this creature mutates, exile cards from the top of your library until you exile X permanent cards where X is the number of times the creature has mutated. Put those permanent cards onto the battlefield. It's a 6-6. Six, six. That one actually looks super cool. So pretty much every time you mutate it, you go from the top of your library into your next creature and put it on the field as well. Right. For each time you mutate it. And you can keep just mutating different cards onto it and each time it does that. So you can literally do it. So you fucking do it like eight times. And then you look for eight creatures. The top eight creatures. And yeah. Crazy. Right field, yeah. Oh, thank you, handsome. I don't know what he clicked on. Something. Uh, forbidden friendship sorcery. Create a one-one red dragon. Cr dragon. I always think dragon is dinosaur. <laughs> Create a one-one red dinosaur creature token with haste and a one-one white human soldier creature token. What's the drop on that? Like one in a red, right? Yeah. Two drop, two tokens. Two drop, two creatures for you. And, oh, we have two more. I thought we only had one. Oh, they're very similar, though. The drop. Mm -hmm. That was the wizard. I was like, ooh. Nice. Res, oh, how do you say it? I can't pronounce. Riel the Everwise. Riel the Everwise, legendary creature, human wizard. Riel the Everwise gets plus one, plus zero for each instant and sorcery card in your graveyard. Whenever you discard one or more cards for the first time each turn, draw that many cards. Zero, three. Super lit. Do you know why she's crazy? There's this one card that's, uh, it's like a couple bucks. It's not overly expensive, but it's one red. This, uh, draw two cards, discard two cards. So with her, you just draw four cards. You still have to discard two, but you get to draw an extra two. Nice. Why? Oh. Okay, we have one card left out of the good ones. Um, Narset of Nation. Legendary Planeswalker Narset. Uh, two plus one, you get a blue, red, white, and then it's a non red doll. You can knight two for draw card, and then you card. When you discard none of the cards, you can the ancient way. Of the ancient way deals damage equal to that card's card mana to target your orphan's walker. For six, you get an emblem with whenever you cast a non creature spell, this emblem deals two damage to any target. Oh, nice. It starts off with four. So you got her. So every time you discard a card with her, you deal damage. When you discard a card, you draw a card. And then I have that enchantment that says whenever you cast a non creature spell, you draw a card. That's fucked up. Mm -hmm. All within this box. It could be very stupid. I can make an America deck. Is that what you're doing? I might make an America deck, yeah. Dear God. Maybe monks. A monk deck? Yeah. I had one before. It's stupid. There's a guy. So monks have prowess. Prowess says whenever you cast a non-creature spell, they get plus one, plus one until end of turn. So you can cast a bunch of non-creature spells and give them like plus four, plus four until end of turn. But there's also this one monk who, uh, Monastery Mentor, he's amazing. He says whenever you cast a non- he has prowess. And whenever you cast a non-creature spell, you get a 1-1 one, one monk with prowess. There's this other monk with prowess that also says whenever you cast a non-creature spell, other creatures you control get plus one, plus one. So it's like double prowess. Right. <sighs> It's disgusting. Kitty. <laughs> That's super cool, though. We have some cards. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, John. You're awesome and well. He said that you are awesome. I appreciate it. I think that I'm going to go and eat. I'm hungry again. No asshole, you can't get on. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining us with unboxing the, um... I had a good time. Um, I'll be back like Monday, probably. <laughs> Have a great, I hope you guys had a great Christmas. I'm going to see if there's I can read real quick if you want to wait just a moment.
Merci.